Okay, so that was a simple example of wobble bass. In this tutorial, I'll explain how wobble bass can be produced using internal synthesizer parameters or an external filter effect. First, the internal example using harmless. Wobble bass is simply someone or something wobbling a cutoff filter frequency. Usually a low pass. That means the cutoff only allows frequencies below the cutoff frequency. Of course, you don't really want to manually wobble the cutoff filter frequency. Here, the LFO or low frequency oscillator is your friend. LFO is a modulator that can be linked to things inside a synth to oscillate them through a range of values at fairly low frequencies. So the first method to create a wobble bass with a synthesizer's internal parameters is to set the internal LFO modulation to control the filter cutoff frequency. In Harmless, you do that from here. Now the LFO will modulate the cutoff frequency. I'll also play with the LFO speed and notice we have an instant wobble bass effect. So if we cut back to the beginning, you'll see the LFO speed envelope to the right is changing the LFO speed throughout the track. So hopefully you get the idea. Let's have a look at doing the same thing using Love Filter. So you can apply this wobble effect to any synth sound you have. Here we have three OSC running through Love Filter and we're going to use that to apply the wobble, but not just yet. Love Filter can look a little intimidating at first, but it's really not so bad. There are eight identical filter banks that can be used in parallel or in series by sending from one bank to the next. For each bank, you can select a filter type. Remember, we wanted a low-pass filter. Don't worry too much about the flavour names. You're meant to select them by ear. So I'll grab the Lime low-pass. Now if I move the filter cut frequency, you can hear what it does. Okay, here's an important point. For wobble bass sounds to be most effective, they need some bright high-end frequencies that come through as the filter opens up. Otherwise, there won't be any real change in the sound as the filter cutoff frequency rises. So I'll play the tune and give the cut knob a manual wobbling. So here are two more points when making wobble bass. First, manual wobbling sucks. Second, Changing the way the wobble happens over time is key to getting a great wobble bass or wobble anything sound. How to do that? Well, down here we have our modulation controls. The top row are destinations or targets. These are things that can be automated by the second row, the modulation sources. So source modulates destination. For example, the pan over here can be modulated by any or all of the sources in the bottom row. There's volume and ah, there's the cut or the filter cutoff and here's an LFO, low frequency oscillator, that we can modulate the cut with. Let's have a listen to that. So no LFO effect. That's because we need to enable the envelope. As with all FL Studio standard envelopes, it's from this switch here. So let's try that again. Almost there. The last thing we need to do is modulate the LFO speed. And you can do that from these knobs here. See the SPD knob? That's speed. And we can modulate that while the song plays to create classic wobble bass effects. So if you right click that and create an automation clip, you can edit it to get the exact wobble bass sound you want. I've made one earlier and let's link it to that and have a listen. Now there was an interesting middle resonance that peaked up. That's from this automation clip here, linked to the res or resonance control. 
This illustrates another point. Really great wobble bass lines usually modulate more than just the filter cutoff, but play around with the resonance and some other filter parameters too. I'll put links in the video information so you can download the harmless and love filter wobble bass examples from here, and from then on, you're on your own. Until next time, enjoy creating wobble bass.